Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to show you a few networking tools that I think every help desk and Windows administrator should know. Uh, these are things that will help you verify the network health and integrity of your desktop computers. It's been my experience that if your computers pass these tests, you will have fewer problems. So let me go through some of them here. Uh, some of them are command line tools, some of them are PowerShell tools. Um, a number of the command line tools you can run just in PowerShell, but I'll jump back and forth between the two uh, consoles. So the first thing we want to look at is, is the computer up and running? Can I ping it? I'm sure you've all heard of that command ping. Well, we're going to open up a command prompt here and I'm going to type ping and I'm going to ping an XP computer that's on my test network here called XP Lab and I can see that it replied and I can see that I have a result. Now, you may have firewalls in place that will prevent pings from working, so this is not necessarily a guarantee that the computer is up and running and fully functional, but if you know what to expect with firewalls, then you should be able to use ping uh, successfully. In the Windows world, Windows PowerShell world, there is a commandlet called test connection that works basically the same way as ping, test connection, XP lab, and I can see the result. There's the IP address, um, and I'll scroll over, I've resized my window, and a few other pieces of information. So having a ping response is a good thing. That means I know the computer's up and running and potentially reachable. Doesn't necessarily mean that the network is, uh, that the operating system is working, just that the networking piece is, is working. It's also important that name resolution work properly. I should be able to use the NSLOOKUP command, type in my computer name, and get a result back. Um, related to that is with computer names, you've got the name and the IP address. It's also important that you have a reverse lookup, so if I do NSLOOKUP and then the IP address, 192.168.56.203, I should also get a result. You do not want to get, I'll put in a bogus IP address here, if there was a problem with a missing reverse lookup, you'd get an error like that, and that would be something I'd want to look into. With today's systems, WMI is super critical, so you need to make sure that that is running and that you can also get information from WMI. From the command line here, I can use the SC commandlet, and I'm going to connect to XP Lab, and I'm going to query the Win Management service, and I can see that it is up and running. That's great. In PowerShell, I can use the get service, and we'll also check for the Win Management service, and I'm going to check on Computer XP Lab, and sure enough, I can see that it's running. I also want to make sure I can get information, so let's do a quick check here using get WMI object, and we'll look at the Win32 underscore uh, operating system class, and we'll do this on computer name XP Lab. Of course, you do have to type the correct class name. There we go. So, that's all well, that works. Um, I also want to make sure that I have RPC connectivity. The best way to do that is to make sure that I have access to the administrative shares, the hidden C$ dollar and admin dollar shares. So I can do XP, XP Lab C$. Dollar. Uh, with PowerShell, if I just want to verify that that exists, I can use the uh, test path and returns true. Now, finally, I also put together a script which you can download from the site called Get Network Status that will run through a lot of checks and return a custom object. So this script is on my S drive, S Get Network Status, and I'll give it a computer name. It takes a moment to run through all the tests, and it will spit out a health object that shows me everything is running smoothly on this system. So, uh, some quick network checks that you should work through. Um, I hope you found this informative. Thank you.